Hi, this is the weekly recap of all the animals that we currently have at the hospital. Uh, these animals are all in long-term treatments. So sometimes people expect really quick recoveries, but it's more complicated than this. Let me start a recap with Duna. Duna, many of you will remember her. She was rescued with terrible injuries on her jaw, on the throat, horrible lacerations. We actually didn't know what, what approach we were gonna take. So very happy to show you how Duna looks quite a few months later, about three months now at the hospital. Richard, it's such a pleasure to see him at the hospital improving, learning to walk again. It's really great. When we got him from that shelter in Greece, we actually didn't know what was going to be the approach. We operated one of his legs, we did an arthrodesis, very complex surgery, and the other leg we focused on physiotherapy. And I actually think we managed to save both of them. Here is Richard. Angel, our little black angel, rescued from the side of the road, trying to crawl, hiding under the cars. His condition was horrific. Now, quite a few months later, and he looks like a completely different new dog. Actually, I have great news about him. He's been adopted, and he was about to go home last weekend, but he started having a cough, and, uh, and we thought, okay, well, it's better if he stays at the hospital for a few more days. No, don't worry, it's not coronavirus, but I think he's gonna be okay, and next week he will be able to go home. Here is Angel. And here is Rio. Everyone is waiting to hear about him. Rio was operated last Friday night. Uh, as I said on my appeals, 
it was now or never. It was the last chance for real. If we don't manage to get out this terrible persistent infection that he has, he has a multi-resistant bacteria, and we already we have tried everything. With last surgery, we took out the plates and we applied antibiotic precisely in the place where the infection is, in the bone. Really complex surgery, and this is his last chance. If this doesn't work, Rio will lose his leg. But we don't know if it's gonna work or not. For now, just fingers crossed, he is real. Toby, many of you have been asking us about him. Toby is this beautiful uh, Dogo Argentino that was rescued two weeks ago. He looked like a skeleton the day we got him. It was really heartbreaking to see a dog so big and so beautiful turn into something so thin, like a walking skeleton, really. Unbelievable. For the last two weeks, he's been on treatment, he's been fed, Obviously, he's been treated for leishmaniasis, which is his, the condition that he has. And I'm very pleased to tell you that uh, he's making great improvements. He's not where he should be, by all means, but uh, there's a big change in him, in his mood, his demeanor. Uh, have a look, here's Toby. to be operated last week but we had this multi-resistant bacteria at the hospital so we wanted to make sure there were no risk of that bacteria getting inside his prosthesis so there's been a massive cleanup at the hospital uh, Rio's case obviously has shaking us all so we want to make sure that there is no complications 
Now, it's really difficult uh, when you go to a human hospital, there's always a risk of having one of such bacteria, and all the cleaning in the world doesn't, doesn't stop you from getting those. Uh, now, there are obviously lots of precautions, a lot of things that can be done in order to you know, decrease the risk of those bacteria appearing, but uh, it's a really hard battle, I, I have to tell you. So, Apollo is at the hospital, he's getting ready for surgery. The surgery is going to happen in two days. Today is Tuesday, so the surgery is due to happen on Thursday. I will keep you posted. For now, here is Apollo. So, these are the six dogs that we currently have at the hospital. Many of them are improving, they, they all came in extreme conditions and we're very pleased to see their evolution and how they're doing right now. But these are long-term projects, these are long-term rescues. Some of them are about to go home, there are new ones coming. There are some of them about to have really important surgeries. As I say, this is our life, this is our never-ending plea. Uh, and this is what we do here. If you've been following our work for years, uh, for months, uh, you know that we never give up on our animals. And this is what makes us special. So guys, thanks for being here. If any of you would like to help, there's a PayPal link at the bottom. You can contribute towards the treatment or the surgeries of one of these animals. And of course, if you would like to join us for the long term, to stay with us for the ride, please click on the link and join us on Patreon. It's very important to have your continued support. Thank you very much, and I'll see you tomorrow.